testosterone esters part two, enanthate, cypionate, and undecanoate, AKA the long haulers, ideal for steady, reliable levels with minimal injection pain. Quick refresher, testosterone esters are molecular timers determining the hormone's release speed. Same testosterone, different timing. If you haven't watched it yet, check out our part one where we cover this in detail. Kicking things off with testosterone enanthate and cypionate. These two medium length esters are practically twins that have more in common than what most people think. They have similar half-lives with enanthate lasting six to nine days and cypionate lasting about seven to 10 days, making them perfect for TRT, often requiring just one or two injections a week. More often is better, but that's a rant for another day. Now, due to this extended release compared to something like propionate, patients maintain steadier and more predictable blood levels. But what's the catch? These longer esters tend to lead to more noticeable subcutaneous water retention. For the average patient, this isn't a big deal and can be barely noticeable. But if you make your living based on how shredded you look, it might just make a difference. Typical TRT dosing ranges anywhere from 75 to 200 milligrams split once to twice weekly. Next, testosterone undecanoid. This ultra long ester is typically reserved for clinical TRT and not performance enhancement. Known commercially as a VED in the United States, testosterone undecanoid has a half-life around 20 to 30 days. This means injections can be spaced out between four and 10 weeks. Some TRT patients find this super convenient for maintaining stable hormone levels over extended periods because they can come into their doctor's office for the shot and avoid sticking themselves or getting stabbed in the butt with a testosterone pellet trocar. But this long ester has a downside. Dosing adjustments on the fly are virtually impossible. Need to tweak dosage quickly due to unwanted side effects or unexpected results? Buckle up, Buttercup. Undecanoate's long ester means you're locked into whatever you injected weeks ago. Want to tweak your dose? If you're in the US and you want to use your insurance, then nope, it's one size fits all. So for performance and wellness-minded patients, cypionate and enanthate are universally preferred for precision and flexibility. Typical medical dosing for undecanoate weight in the United States is 750 milligrams with four weeks between your first two shots and then one shot every 10 weeks thereafter. Let's talk injection comfort. All of these esters, enanthate, cypionate, and undecanoate weight are extremely easy to inject. Any discomfort or preference is usually going to be related to the oil type rather than the medication itself. Bottom line, long-acting esters, enanthate, cypionate, and undecanoate offer stable hormone levels, less frequent injections, and more convenience with cypionate and enanthate being the gold standard for most TRT clinics. Curious about faster options like test suspension and propionate? Check out our part one. Proceed accordingly.